Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in this world. Welcome to Lux Report on YouTube. Make sure you click subscribe and we'll keep you updated on all the latest happenings in the watch world. What makes a Richard Mill so damn expensive? Are they novelty items easily dismissed? as the purview of the extremely rich and famous? Or are they worthy of the hype, true works of art that defy trend and imagination? The answer is probably yes. Take the new RM27-04 Tobolon Rafael Nadal. For example, a limited edition of only 50 pieces. It celebrates the 10-year partnership between the Spanish tennis champion and watchmaker Richard Mill. Colourful, funky-looking and futuristic, it's pretty much typical RM flair. But why the whopping 1 million and 50,000 price tag? US dollars, that is. It's a turbolum equipped. Watches are already expensive objects and typically costing tens of thousands of dollars. The turbolum, which was developed by famed watchmaker Abraham Louis Breguet, is meant to counteract the effects of gravity on a watch's movement. But this tourbillon, along with the rest of the watch's movement, is suspended within the watch case in a microblasted stainless steel mesh composed of a single cable just 0.27 millimeters in diameter and affixed to two PVD treated 5N gold tensioners. Mimicking the design of a tennis racket. One presumes the similarity is very intentional. It makes for a watch that looks like something Spider-Man would wear. The cable is anchored to one tensioner at five o'clock. Crisscrossed around the dial space and through the grade 5 titanium bezel and then anchored for a second tensioner at 10 o'clock. If you paid attention to those two directional numbers, you'll realize this means that the movement is orientated diagonally. Suspended within the mesh by five grade 5 titanium hooks, protruding from the base plate. Why this unconventional design? Design? Well, it turns out that such a design can withstand accelerations in excess of 12,000 Gs, which is a record for the brand and means that Nadell can swat away with his, without breaking his tourbillon. Surely a concern that was never on a tennis player's radar before Richard Mill came along. But a concern, nonetheless. And the novelty doesn't end there. The RM27-04 weighs only 30 grams, including the strap housed in a case made of, a, of an exclusive material called titocarb, one of the world's most resistant polymers. Titocarb is a high-performance polymide, a synthetic polymer, strengthened with carbon fiber content. So what's the final word? Is RM27-04... Um, Horta horology. Is it art? Is it just a pure novelty given both its design or its price? Excessive, no doubt, even considering the watch's research and design costs. Probably 
all of the above. And if we have a look on Chrono 24, as I've already stated, there's only 50 pieces made in the entire world. One of these pieces is actually up for sale on Chrono 24. The original retail price of 1 million and 50,000 US dollars. It is now uh, for sale on Chrono 24 for a whopping 2 million 288,000 dollars. It's a pretty good investment if you're able to get your hands on this very limited available piece uh, in such a short amount of time jumping over one point nearly 1.3 million dollars absolutely amazing absolutely crazy and what do you guys think do you think it's going to continue going higher what how much could this uh, piece go up and go up to Imagine if you uh, was lucky enough to purchase this piece and didn't use it. It was wrapped up, brand spanking new. What kind of prices could it reach now? And will Richard Mill prices ever go back down? Are they going to continue to go up? Will demand continue to be there? Because at the end of the day, of course... It's all about supply and demand. Does the Richard Mill bubble look like it's going to pop anytime soon? If any of, any of uh, you guys, my viewers, that could afford to purchase such an expensive timepiece, would you purchase one? What do you think about their uh, out there design, um, the materials they're using, the lightness. Um, let me know your feelings and thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think of this particular watch and its crazy um, prices that are happening right now. What do you think about that? Let me know your feelings and thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to Luck Support, click on the bell icon, and we'll keep you informed on all the latest happenings in the watch world.